Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have a great day so far. If you guys need, please subscribe. I post every other day as much as possible. Um, these days, I've been uh, going pretty hard with the uploads just because there's so much content to make with the case pop and everything, as you guys know. But today, I'll be polishing it. Um, yeah, but actually, I forgot to make an intro for the uh, for the video here. But in this video, you'll be seeing me paint the valve cover get everything situated, put the headers on, polish the tray, look at that shine, polish the block, and uh, yeah, get everything ready, put the new fuel line in from Mitch Auto Parts, which is right here, um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, show you guys the process, again, I just forgot to upload some little sneak peek for you guys, um, but yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, since I'm waiting on a lot of parts, honestly, um, what I'm gonna do here is because this is the back of the motor, this is where I'm, I have an open rear end. So I'm just gonna go ahead and polish the block one here. So some sandpaper, I have 180, all of it up to 1400. Perfect. I'm gonna start with 180. You don't need to go super coarse or you just end up making it scratch super deep. Um, then once it kind of gets to this finish right here, you see dull shine right there. I'm gonna use some of the wool and some of the smaller bits, the stuff from Barber Freight for like 20 bucks, I'm um, just attached to a drill. You can get into the small crevices and stuff, but I just wanted to make it look nice while I'm out here. Do the same thing for the training. So I got this idea from a guy here named Lorenzo. He has a Turbo K24, but I thought it'd be cool to do this. So let's go ahead and do this. <clears throat> all right, so I got the hardware all set up. Oh my gosh, look at that. It looks so good. So good. And that's, that's what you see, you know, when you pop up the engine bay, people see the size of the tranny, that's what they see. I, people don't really know that that's not the motor, um, you're not going to really see that much of the block. The block looks really good, it's just not as shiny. The thing is, is that when the header is on, you don't really see it, as long as it's clean, it looks good. But the polish though... Alright, so shout out to MAP, also known as Mitch Auto Parts. Got this nice fading right here. Put it on the fuel rail, it goes right on. Clicks on, you hear that click, and it's on. And then you get the fuel line right here. And uh, you thread it on. You thread it on like this. guys oh guys looks so nice get that one and then on the, this side of it same thing right on the one that goes onto the tortoise side clip it in so nice the header studs on here see what third pitch they are and then yeah so it's got it over on over on that area and then we move in and kind of see what um what third pitch they are all right so i did get the new stud right there not the nut but just the, the stud part so i'm just putting it all the way back to the edge of the stud and then tightening it with a 14 mil. So that's what I'm doing right now. So there's that stud that I just showed you. Looks awesome. Nice and functional and uh, grade eight. So these are really good. <laughs> 